Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today we're going to be doing a very fun, colorful look inspired by the new Barbie movie. I was definitely a Barbie girl growing up. I still have them all in my parents' crawl space. And we're taking this Barbie ColourPop collection that they did, I think it was last year, and we're taking that Best Coast shade, which is a bright, perfect Barbie fuchsia pink, and we're gonna run that through the crease. I was trying to pick colors that really went with the Barbie poster, so this bright pink and a very pastel but also kind of um, Robin's egg blue color to go into the crease, but I just kept building it up and buffing it out and adding more color where I needed to and then also blending out the edges. I do end up sharpening them up, but you could you leave them more of a diffused look, but I love doing more of a cat eye shape on myself. Now we're going to be going in with, you can use a concealer, but I used the eyeshadow base that I used on my eye at the beginning and I'm going to be creating a nice cup crease. Um, I would definitely suggest putting a concealer on your eye or a eyeshadow base because these vibrant pinks and blues will stain and that will help avoid that. But we're gonna put it on our eyelid and create a nice open eye cup crease. And I did end up setting it down with some translucent powder just to get rid of that tackiness. And then I buffed in a little bit more of that pink just to have a nice soft blend and no harsh lines. The pinks really enhance my brown eyes. I'll probably do something more like this, nothing too crazy for the movie, just because I'm going with my friends and I don't have to like take too much time doing that. We're taking this sharp eyeliner brush and we're going to take that same Best Coast Bright Fuchsia Pink and just kind of sharpen up those edges after I cleaned up under eyes and just make more of a cat eye shape. Very simple and very easy to do. Now we're taking this amazing Zoeva brush that I got while I was in Portland, Maine this last week for a vacation. We were in a Marshalls and I just happened to see it. It was only $2.99, but this is the perfect pointed detail brush. I'm so excited. I want to buy a million of these, but we're taking the shade Surf's Up, which is this beautiful metallic ocean Barbie blue, very Malibu blue. Um, and we're just going to take that into the inner crease and create a little bit of a line into the inner crease, I guess that's what you could call it. Um, it's kind of more of a graphic eye. We're taking this in other color pops, a glitch palette, and we're going to take that chat room shade, mint teal shimmer shade and we're just going to layer that on top and after we're done with that we're going to buff in some more of that pink just to blend the two really well together. I thought this would be the perfect way to tie in both the pink and the blue. We're taking that light seafoam shimmer and we're dragging that onto the crease just lightly, not full pigment, just enough to have a little bit of that seafoam green. Now we're taking the ColourPop Disco Lady Glitterly Obsessed Gel and we're going to just put this on the inner part of the eye up towards the eyebrow just to add some fun Barbie sparkle. We're taking what's ever left on our brush with that nice vibrant fuchsia uh, pink and we're throwing it underneath our lash line. And there is the completed eye before we put some black eyeliner on. It's very beautiful, very Barbie-esque. If you're not into the glitter, you could always leave that off. But I just thought it would be a fun little bit of sparkle to add to the look. And it wouldn't be a Barbie look without a big black cat wing. I'm taking the Truffle Cosmetics lava liner and it's water resistant so that's very good for these sweaty days um, and it's super sharp felt tip eyeliner i got this recently in one of my boxy charms we're going to be adding some mascara and we're going to be using the pacifica Pacifica Collagen Mascara. It's definitely supposed to be helping your eyelashes grow and I actually feel like I have seen a difference. 
after we're done with that mascara, it wouldn't be a Barbie look without these beautiful kind of more separated wispy eyelashes that I got at Walmart. I just liked how PC they were and more separated. It made me think of, well not separated, but more chunky little spaces. It made me think of Barbie eyelashes. We're going to perfect our eyebrows with the Maybelline Express Brow in deep black, black brown. And we're going to lay them down like they are laminated to our face because Barbies don't have actual eyebrows, they're painted on. And I feel like this gave that Barbie laminated brow effect. We're going to Get rid of our pores with the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbert Primer. It's a really good one. I mainly got it because it was like pink like Barbie, <laughs> but it does do a good job of getting rid of your pores. But I really focused it on the underneath my eyes and on my nose where my pores are my worst. We are going to Barbie perfect our face with this new skin tint from Maybelline the Superstay Skin Tint. And I have the shade 118 and it finally matches me perfectly. Um, I accidentally bought the shade that was a little too dark for me and after vacation I actually got a tan. Who knew that could happen? Um, and I love this. It really lasts a long time. I wore it once on vacation on like the hottest day that I could ever imagine and my makeup still looked good by the end of the day so I feel like it wears really well in the heat as well as doing a decent coverage. To brighten up under our eyes with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and it's in the shade 160 which is more of that pink brightener shade. I thought this would be nice to add a little bit of brightness because my foundation is more on the warm tone and it worked really well. This is one of those like long loved concealers. I have it in like a different shade that matches my exact skin tone so it's like one of those good things you can just wear all over but it does a fairly good job of color correcting and concealing those dark circles. I do set the under eyes with my Kaleido Symphony Contour Trio with that brightener shade. It really matches that concealer perfectly. It has a bit more of a pink tone. And then we're going to contour our nose and our cheekbones and our jawline just to add that extra Barbie sculpted look and it wouldn't be a Barbie look without a Barbie pink blush so we're using this heart blush from Colourpop and it's the perfect pink Barbie color it's that like Dior dupe um, but more of a matte version and we plop that all over our cheeks and then we're going to highlight with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Blossom Glow, which is a nice icy pink, just to tie in more of that icy pink Barbie look. We're taking the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Natural, and we're going to be carving out our lip lines. This is like the perfect, I feel like, nude Barbie color. I actually have the Barbie lip liners from the Colourpop collection, but I really hate the packaging on those. They aren't twist up. You have to like sharpen them and they really poorly sharpen. And I prefer a twist up. We're going to be taking both Dreamhouse and Golden Beach, the collab that Colourpop did with Barbie, I think last year. One's definitely more pink and definitely the other one is definitely more golden, like it says. I'm going in with Dollhouse. Dream House first, which is the more pink based one. Just to add some more pink, we're taking the Type A Revlon Suede Ink Really Transfer Proof Lipstick and just dabbing it on to add a little bit more pink tone to that lip. I think this look turned out very Barbie-tastic. Um, I actually have a Barbie that looks, I would say, the most like me. I never had a Barbie that looked like me when growing up, and I feel like this one definitely gives similar vibe. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're going to go see the Barbie movie, let me know what you think. I'm very excited, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!